What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on FanDuel for this Sunday's AFC and NFC title games. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, so you can get updates to these sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section who are your favorite options for this Sunday's games. We're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Josh Allen, Chris Godwin, Tyreek Hill, John Brown, and Aaron Jones. Who will be the top favorites for this slate? It's time to find out. Alrighty, first up, we're going to Devin Singletary. 5,800 projected for 10.2 fantasy points this game in Kansas City. They're three-point dogs with a 54-point total. An interesting matchup. Chiefs D. In Football Outsiders DVOA, ranked 31st in the league against the run. I have my eye on that. Singletary is not going for a monster day. This is a guy you're rostering for salary relief. He's only going for north of 25 fantasy points about 2.5% of the time. But he shows up in the optimal 46% of the time because 5,800 is a price tag that simply works. You're expecting him to get the run pretty much no matter what happens, whether they're uh, you know ahead by a bit behind by a bit. I think he's involved regardless of the game script, but clearly you would like to see the Buffalo Bills be at least a little bit ahead for Singletary to do it. If he gets in the end zone, he's almost a necessity on the slate just because of his price tag. I like him for the salary relief. You're going to need guys like Devin Singletary to open up some of the bigger plays. That is enough to make him my number five play for the slate. Next up, number four, we're going Stephon Diggs. Big time price, 8,300, projected for 17.2 fantasy points. Bills taken on Kansas City. It's the same sort of matchup that we just had for Singletary, only Kansas City's pass defense, not all that bad. 16th in passing DVOA. Now, Diggs, the opposite of Singletary in that he has a monstrous ceiling. 25% chance of scoring more than 25 fantasy points. A 47% chance of being in the optimal lineup. I don't mind playing them together, obviously, but you're going to need guys like Singletary to unlock the Stephon Diggs's of the world. I actually think 8,300 might even be a little too cheap. You see Tyreek Hill a little bit further behind him. I like getting the Diggs at 8,300. I expected him to be slightly more expensive. I think the value is there. I like being over the field on Diggs. Next up, number three, we're going Devontae Adams, 8,900, projected for 19.3 fantasy points. He's sort of got the opposite scenario for the Bills. This is a very difficult defensive matchup. First against the run, not all that important to Devontae Adams. Fifth against the pass, way more important to Devontae Adams. They're three and a half point favorites, 51 and a half point total. Adams has that same sort of monster ceiling as Diggs. Honestly, I think he's got a higher floor too, just the way that they use him in the red zone. 30% chance of going for north of 25 fantasy points. 50.4, so just slightly more than the coin flip that Devontae Adams is in the optimal lineup. He's been the best receiver this season. I think he's the best receiver on this slate. If I'm paying up for anybody at the wide receiver position, it is absolutely Devontae Adams. Now we move on to the number two spot, and I'm assuming he's going to be playing, but if we hear otherwise, this will all move around. Number two, Clyde Edwards E. Lair, 6,200, 12.2 fantasy point projection, a Buffalo run defense that you're not all that worried about. Again, not a huge ceiling. He's going for north of 25 fantasy points, four and a half percent of the time. But because of that $6,200 salary and the fact that if Kansas City gets up or if they need to rely a little bit more on the running game, I think that he can thrive here. Not worried at all that he's been out for a bit. 53.2% chance of him being in the optimal lineup. It's just a price tag that works really easy to get to. And in a situation where I expect Kansas City to win the game and slightly be ahead. And if that's the case, you're just going to see a little bit more work from Clyde Edwards-Hilaire in the second half of the game. So... I'm leading on Edwards Elair. I can't stop saying it like that. It's so much fun. But he's not my number one contender. Before we get to number one, one last reminder, please hit that like button. I love seeing the likes climb. Makes me feel great on the inside. Subscribe to the channel so that we can get to 50,000 subs by the time we get to the Super Bowl. And finally, let me know in the comments section who are your favorite options on this slate. Now it's on to number one. And we are locking down the tight end position at number one. It's Travis Kelsey, 8,600, projected for 16.6 fantasy points. Great matchup against Buffalo as far as I'm concerned. 14% chance of going for north of 25. I think he's got a really high floor, though. 54.5% of the time, 
Travis Kelsey is in the optimal lineup. If he happens to score, I think he'll basically be essential. Even if he doesn't get in the end zone, a game of like eight for 80 will play pretty well for him. It's not the best value in the world. Obviously, in that case, it's only 12 fantasy points, but you can get there with Kelsey and he's going to have massive ownership. The problem is it's a pretty giant step down from the tight end position. I guess you're going to look at like Tanyan. None of that really looks good to me. And that's why you don't see any other tight ends showing up in the top 10 here. Kelsey is making up more than half of my tight end exposure, and he is without question to me, although it is mildly close to Clyde edwards helaire He's the number one play of the day. It's just the replacement level of tight end is so different compared to other positions that Kelsey just catapults to the top. So I don't expect many changes as we get closer to lock. So I'm going to call it now. Travis Kelsey, the number one contender on FanDuel for this Sunday. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders for the AFC and NFC title games. Thank you for joining me. Good luck this weekend. We'll be back with more content for the Super Bowl. So good luck, and uh, I'll see you at Super Bowl time.